Beauty Counter is launching these brand new Statement Maker Satin Lipsticks on the 16th, if you're watching this today. Um, they come in these slim tubes. Look how gorgeous that packaging is. It has a closure. It's not magnetic, but it does have a snap closure. So it's not gonna, the lid's not gonna come off in your purse. They're super slim bullets. You can use one end to line the lips and you can use the other end to do precision lipstick application. There are 14 shades. I'm gonna show you all of them today. The packaging is made of 72% post-consumer resin, which is a recycled plastic. They have a vanilla scent that is made from an EcoCert vanilla from Madagascar, a woman-owned company in Madagascar. And this is gonna be super hydrating. The ingredients include an acai fruit oil, shea butter, and mango butter, plant-based waxes that are really gonna leave your lips feeling nourished, but it's also gonna be a long-lasting lipstick. What makes it different than other lipsticks that you can get on the market is triple tested for contaminants. So colorant products are often riddled with heavy metals. And if a company isn't testing before, during and after production, you don't know how much heavy metals are in that product. No product can be heavy metal free because that's just the nature of using a colored product. And heavy metals are found in the ingredients that we use in things like lipsticks, blushes, eyeshadows. But Beauty Counter is committed to having the lowest possible level. And we triple test every single batch of every single product that we have to make sure that there's not gonna be lead cadmium, arsenic, things that we know are harmful to human health in these lipsticks. And something that we're putting on our lips every single day, uh, we wanna make sure that it's safe. I think a statistic that I recently heard is like 80% of the United States population wears a lipstick. So you probably have a good selection, but is it? it's probably time to give your lipsticks an update to something safer and yours might even be expired. I have a ton of the old Beauty Counter lipsticks that have the peppermint scent in the blue tube. They've been out of stock for a really long time. And when I opened one the other day, I could smell that it was not good anymore. So I'm excited to toss those and have some new replacements. So let's get started with the try-on. We're gonna start with the pinks, then we're gonna do the browns and neutrals, then we're gonna go on to reds and then berries and plums. I don't have every single shade. There are 14 shades. I have 11 shades here. So I can't wait to show you all the shades and let me know which one is your favorite. If you're watching this on the 16th, 17th, and 18th of May, we also have a double member product credit going on right now. So instead of earning 10% back as product credit, you can earn 20% back. So for every lipstick you buy, you're gonna get $8 back in product credit, which is amazing. Um, and then obviously the more you spend, the more product credit you're gonna be getting back to use at a later time. If you're not Band of Beauty, don't worry. It's on sale right now for only $19. That gets you free shipping over 75 through the end of June. It's normally free shipping over 100. You're gonna get a free welcome gift, which is our makeup primer right now, which is incredible, super hydrating, great for if you're wearing makeup or even if you're not, help your makeup last longer and just fill in your pores and make everything smoother without being occlusive. Um, and then you also earn product credit. So being a Band of Beauty member really pays. There's no auto ship, there's no auto renew, there's no commitment. It's just a rewards program. It's like shopping, Amazon Prime, it's a no brainer. First up, we have Confident. This is gonna be a dusty pink. If you loved the shade Brunch in our old collection, you will love Confident. This is Inspired, it's a pink coral. They are so creamy. I can tell they're not gonna be drying at all. This is Brave, a warm pink. And if you loved the Fuchsia is Clean, which was a limited edition shade, you are gonna love this shade of electric. It's a vivid pink. I love that. Look how white it makes my teeth look. I only have two in the browns and neutrals. We're gonna start with Independent. Cool Nude Pink. And if you loved Backstage in our old collection, then you will love Independent. Oh, I love that. Kind of a your lips, but better. Nine to five was my favorite shade in our Color Intense lipsticks. And if that was also true for you, then you're gonna love Captivating. Soft Pink Brown. I 
I love it just as much as nine to five, but it's definitely creamier. And I love that vanilla scent. Two shades that I don't have in the warm neutral. Daring is a rich brown red. I feel like that's gonna be perfect for fall, so I saved that to get later. And also Fearless. It's also a warm chestnut, so I'm gonna save that for fall and get that a little bit later too. Let's do the reds. If you loved Girls' Night or Gala in our Color Intense Lipstick, then Vibrant is gonna be for you. And if you are looking for the perfect red lipstick that's blue-based, it's gonna be this one, Vibrant. If you've ever put on a, lip, a red lipstick and you've thought, oh, my teeth look kind of yellow, it's probably an orange-based red lipstick and not a blue-based. A blue-based is gonna make your teeth look whiter. Look how beautiful that shade is. This is the perfect red lip. If you love an orange-based red, we do have one. And if you loved BC Red, Beauty Counter Red, the equivalent to that is gonna be Energize. I didn't get that one. I don't look good in an orange-based red, so I just skipped it. I love a blue-based red. This is Passionate. It's gonna be a brick red. Oh, I didn't know if I was gonna like this one, but I really like this one. This one is still a little bit blue-based, a little bit deeper. That's gorgeous. We have three more in the Plums and the Berries, and this is shade Brilliant. We didn't have anything like it in our previous collection. Oh, this might be my new favorite. Look how beautiful that is. I love a good berry. It's perfect for fall, but I love a bold lip always. If you loved Little Black Dress in our Color Intense lipsticks, this is Savvy, a neutral berry. This is gonna be for you. Y'all, I have taken off and put on so many. My lips, I thought, would kind of like feel really dry at this point. They do not. This is so creamy. I really like Savvy. And last but certainly not least, if you loved Twilight, then this one's gonna be for you. This is powerful and it's a deep burgundy. That's beautiful too. I have a lot of favorites. I would love to hear what your favorite is in the comments. I put my favorite back on, Brilliant. This is a rose plum. This is probably gonna be my new go-to lip. I love a good berry. I think it's so fun to get a new vibrant lipstick. We have some that are more neutral, some that are more bold. They're super creamy. They're gonna be long wearing. You can use them like a lip liner. They're not gonna be full of tons of heavy metals. So many pluses here, and I can't wait for you to find your perfect shade. If you feel like you're not sure even where to start and you wanna send me a photo of yourself in natural light, I can help match you, but it's really gonna be personal preference on if you like something bold or not. And always remember, we have a 60 day return policy, so you would never be stuck with something that you get in and you think, that just doesn't look that good. But I also encourage you to step outside your comfort zone, try something new, try something bold. It, it takes a little getting used to, to seeing yourself with a lip on if you don't normally. But now I feel like I look funny if I don't have a lip on because I'm so used to wearing something bold. So treat yourself with a new lip. Bailey and I are on a walk and I put Vibrant on about an hour and a half ago. I drank some coffee, I've drank some water, I've kissed on Bailey, and it still still feels pretty moisturized. My lips don't feel super dry. I might put a, like a little dot of a gloss on, but it's wearing really nicely. Um, and I'm gonna check back in after I eat and drink lunch, and we'll see kind of how it wears and how long lasting it is after food. It's also about 1 million percent humidity. <laughs> In North Houston today so that's a good sign too. Bailey and I just got back from our walk. There she is. I just had lunch. It was a really fatty lunch like a ribeye, plantains, okra, and this lip is still hanging on. I can still I can see a little bit of wear on the inside part which I think is totally normal when you wear lipstick. Most people expect to reapply if you're wearing one of those long lasting lipsticks that's um uh that stays all day, those normally have PFAS in them, um, per and polyfluoral alkyl substances, which are forever chemicals. So 
you kind of pay for it. Um, but I'm really impressed with the wear and how like creamy and nourishing my lips still feel. So that's your update. I hope you love it. Y'all let me know if you have any questions. Get to shopping.